morning, Dorothy. Good morning, Blanche. Blanche, have you seen Jean? No. I wonder where she could be. Didn't you say where she was going when you all got up this morning? She never came to bed. Maybe she stayed in Sophia's room. Uh, Ma, did Jean sleep with you last night? Dorothy, there are a lot of things I want to try before I die. <laughs> but that's not one of them. And she must have stayed in Rose's room. My God. Dorothy, you don't suppose Jean would ever, you know. Listen, Blanche, I do not believe for one moment that anything other than gin rummy happened between Rose and Jane last night. Dorothy, something terrible happened. Oh, God! <laughs> you idiot! If somebody told you to jump off a bridge, would you do it? <laughs> Blanche, would you excuse us? You mean you don't want to talk to me, too? Oh, thanks, Blanche, but it really involves Dorothy's friend. Okay, Rose, what is it? It's about Jean. What about Jean? Well, I don't want to shock you, Dorothy, but Jean... I know. Jean is gay. You know already? Well, what about Blanche? No, Blanche is not gay. <laughs> I don't mean that. I mean, she knows. And Ma. You told everybody but me? Honey, I didn't even know if you'd know what a lesbian was. <laughs> I could have looked it up. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. I guess I underestimated you. Well, that's not important. I've got a bigger problem. I like Jean. I like her a lot. But I think she's in love with me. She told you. Well, not in so many words, but I knew what she meant. Unless I'm wrong, Dorothy. Now, you know I'm, I'm wrong about no, so many honey, things. No, honey, you're not wrong about this. What am I gonna do? Oh, Dorothy, I... Oh, oh. oh hi, Rose. Hey, wait, what's with the suitcase? I well, thought you... I decided I do have to go. But you were going uh, Dorothy, to stay... Dorothy, uh, would you mind if I spoke with Jean for a minute? No, fine. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> Want a cup of coffee? Maybe I will have a cup of coffee. Oh, good. Rose, about last night, I should never have said anything. Well, you only said what you were feeling. Well, it's just that this last year has been so difficult for me. See, Pat was the person that I planned to spend the rest of my life with. And when she died, I just felt so terribly alone, empty. I, I thought I could never care for anyone again until I met you. I just got very confused. I hope I didn't make you feel uncomfortable. Well, I have to admit, I, I don't understand these kinds of feelings. But if I did understand, if I were, you know, like you, I, I think I'd be very flattered and proud that you thought of me that way. Thank you, Rose. Well, I guess that's all I had to say. <laughs> Except you don't have to go. Unless you think our friendship alone isn't enough. It's enough. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't what it looks like. I know, I know. I was listening at the door. <laughs> Why were you listening at the door? because I'm not tall enough to see through the window. 